What are the impacts of the action taking place in the clip that you observe here? Are they beneficial or are they destructive? While what are the effects of the structure present in this image? Are they positive or negative? The video earlier showed a successful nuclear test in which an atom bomb was detonated while the second image was of a nuclear power plant. When an atom bomb is detonated, it results into a nuclear fallout, which is certainly destructive. While the nuclear energy generated from the nuclear power plants is the second cleanest energy, second to only wind energy. Interestingly, the phenomena behind both of these is radioactivity. To understand all of this, we must start off with an isotope. An isotope is an atom of the same element with different number of neutrons. An isotope becomes unstable when the number of neutrons is greater than the number of protons present in its nucleus. These unstable isotopes are also called radioactive isotopes. These radioactive isotopes tend to regain their stability by spontaneously emitting out radiations which are known as nuclear radiations. Normally, we tend to see three types of nuclear radiations out of which the isotope might emit alpha radiations or alpha particles, beta radiations or beta particles. With either of these radiations, the isotope may or may not radiate gamma rays or gamma particles. This process of spontaneous emissions of particles from the nucleus is known as radioactive decay. When an isotope undergoes radioactive decay, it turns into an atom of different element. Like here, when a carbon-14 having 8 neutrons and 6 protons after emitting a beta particle turns into a stable nitrogen atom. A huge amount of energy is released when this process occurs. This energy is present in the radiated particles and the newly formed atoms of different elements in the form of kinetic energy. This kinetic energy due to the motion of the particles then can be transformed into any other form of energy whichever needs to be obtained. But in most of the cases it is finally transformed into electrical energy. One point that I would like to put forward is that the energy released by a nuclear reaction is way more than the energy released by any chemical reaction that has ever taken place. And if you feel that way more energy means a hundred or a thousand times more energy, you might try again and think about several million times more energy. This is why nuclear energy was popularized in the 1970s. But the hype was short-lived and the growth of nuclear energy just stopped after the 80s. Think about the reasons which led to the stagnation of nuclear power and nuclear energy and write them down in the comments below.